Hey guys, welcome to today's video. It might seem like a little bit of an odd or strange video, but I was at the butcher the other day and I got some chopped lamb and I really didn't think about it until I went to cook it, but I don't have any skewers to put it on. So trying to make it not fall through the grill grate, I'm gonna need some skewers. So I have some 304 stainless, it's 3 8 I also have some one inch 6061 aluminum. So I'm gonna turn a handle and a skewer so I could be able to cook my lamb. So check it out. This is gonna be the CAD of what goes into designing something like this. Uh, it's a nice little project for the lathe. So check it out. I've got a new, new design open here. Meat skewer V1. So the first thing that you always want to do is on the left side here of your components and assemblies in the browser, I always try to start with a new component and make sure it's activated. So here I'll end up putting, we'll, we'll start off with the actual, uh, we'll call this the 3 8 stainless skewer. So this is going to be the base of the skewer the actual stainless rod part. So now that we've created a new component, activated it, we're going to start by creating a sketch here. I'm going to leave this, we're just going to machine the ends of this, so we're going to leave the OD 3 8 so 0.375. And I want this to be about, we'll make this probably nine inches long. And we'll go, we'll go a little longer. We'll go 12 on that. So at the end here, I want to create a point. So I'm gonna to go to chamfer, we'll click on the end here, and let's see. That looks pretty good there for the point. We'll go with that. And on the back end here, I'll just create another sketch and I wanna be able to cut some threads on here. So I'll select this back face. This is just gonna make it easier for actually modeling the threads. So we'll do like 373. I don't know. I'll have to look in the handbook to see exactly what the OD for that should be. And then out of the sketch, go back to press pool. And for this, we'll do like an inch of threads. So now I can go to create thread and then just select the whole entire thing there. It's already 3 eighths, exactly what I wanted it to be. 
And then I can go in and also put a chamfer on here. Just to help that thread start a little easier. Now normally you would want to come in here and actually put a relief cut in with a groover, but this doesn't have anything that it's mating up against for a shoulder, so I'm not really worried about that. So there is how we've made the skewer part. So what I'll do is I'll take this, I'll machine, I'll cut it roughly to length that I want, and then I'll machine the point, take it out, flip it around, machine the threads, and that is going to be the skewer. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Not going to do anything crazy with any grooves or anything like that because I want these to be easy to clean. So now what we'll do is, now that we have that done, we're going to go up, make a new component. Which, I'll activate the meat skewer assembly itself and then create the component. We'll just call this the handle. Now that that's activated, create a sketch. I'm going to turn off the actual skewer itself so it's not distracting. Create a sketch. Like I said, this is, we're going to use about, we're going to use one inch aluminum and it's going to be about five inches on the handle. So what we're going to use here is the revolve command. So I'm actually going to draw out half of the shape that I actually want with the contours. So like I said, we'll make this five inches and from here, now I can actually draw kind of the profile I want. So by keeping this one inch on the outside diameter, I'm going to keep everything under 0.5 because this is going to be half of whatever it revolves. I'm going to create a three-point arc here just to put a little bit of shape in here. Then I'm also going to put some grooves along here.
So I've just made some lines, trimmed them, and then what I'm going to do is I'll put some fillets on here later. So what I'm going to do now is just finish this sketch and we're going to use the revolve command. Gonna select that entire profile and then the axis will be right here. And then that's just made our profile. So the grooves that I have in there are too deep. I'm gonna have to change that. So that looks better there. And then what I could do is, these are just random grooves, just a random design. So what I could do now is actually come in here and modify and put some chamfers on these edges. On this one here, I'll do a little bit bigger of a chamfer. And then maybe do the same on the back. And then we'll come in and do the same thing for these, but I'm going to make these less, probably only 30 thou. So now what I need to do is put the hole in the end here, the 3 8 thread. So in the handle, I'm going to create another sketch. I'm going to put the sketch right on the end here, create a circle, 0.375, finish the sketch, and then we'll go to modify, press pull, and we'll go an inch. Go an inch and a half on that. We'll drill it out an inch and a half, but probably only thread it back an inch. So now I can go to create thread again. Automatically, since I put 0.375 in there, it creates the thread. So now I can turn back on the handle here. Go to align. And that's pretty much it. So there's there's our custom skewer out of three eighths, three or four stainless, 
and one inch 60 61 aluminum pretty simple um, doesn't take that much time and you can get as creative as you want on the profile like I said this is just something quick and simple to show you guys I might spend a little more time on this and make it a little bit more complex but that's the basic basic point of this so that's gonna be it so that's gonna wrap it up thanks for watching this video over the next couple days I'll probably make another video of me actually machining this on the lathe so if you like these types of videos let me know down in the comments I know a lot of people are here for a bunch of different reasons different things I do on the channel so let me know what you guys want to see and I'll catch you next time. Later.